The Silencer number six, Dan Abnett uh, writing with Victor Bogdanovich on the art. Uh, yes. So we ended last issue with like you know all these bad guys showing up with uh, we had we had Silencer, we had uh, Talia with, with you know Silencer's kid and the you know Honor's kid sitting there, uh, which was actually the, the 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 tease at the start of the first issue all all the way back in issue one. So the kid's in a bubble, you know, in a silence bubble uh, behind the table. Well, Talia and Silencer are taking on the hordes, and Sil- and this is a lot of the issues. Them bantering as they're fighting off all these bad guys. It comes to Deathstroke because Deathstroke's kind of the one who sold them out to like, the the villain who wanted them, but it's mainly them like bantering and like her like saying, "Oh no, I want out of this," and you, you drag me back in, and oh that was you, Talia, who ordered that hit, and now they want against you because you did or you you killed one of your your sort of sub bosses and whatever. And uh, it's the art's great. It's it's great combat. Uh, but Danovich is really good, um, and you know it's it's all and I actually it's all about the ending for me because Talia goes for a kid, and Honor does not hesitate. She just turns Talia around and stabs her in the chest. I really like that because it was, was kind of like okay, she's got bite. Like it's not just that she's a good fighter against bad guys; she's got bite. Probably the one area of the issue that the art contrasted for me with with uh, you know the the rest of it. All the action stuff is phenomenal. Mm. I feel like, it, you know, the stabbing, it, 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 the, the facial expression is a little, almost a little too cartoony, o- over expression. Um, yeah, that's probably fair. I, I think uh, it's it's not bad art. It's just at odds with the rest of the issue for me. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. I, I I think for me, I love that moment because it, I I just wasn't expecting it to go that extreme. Like I wasn't expecting yeah. it to actually take Talia. I, what I'm complimenting here. Uh, is, is I guess the writing and like the the, it's the, the, actual, the choice to do it the scene yeah the choice yeah. that she makes to do it the, the fact that she doesn't hesitate she just does it it's like no you're gonna yeah. have to my kid no no chance um, yeah the eyes are a bit wide it's a little bit over expressive um, certainly isn't bad though um, no no it's definitely not bad art it just like I said it, it, especially when you when you a couple of pages later you get out into the car and we're playing with all the shadows and you know we've got all these you know these stuff yeah, going on I can also say like so in the middle of this because obviously they're fighting all the bad guys at first and then after they're all done and they've kind of they're conflicting and she's like oh you ruined my life like the life I built with my son and my, my husband you basically took that from me um, and then, then they start fighting each other so again good combat really lots of good speed lines stuff like that um, but I want to mention in the middle of the fighting there's a really creepy thing where I actually had to go back and look at the page again because I got to a page where at the bottom, in the, in the quiet bubble, all the fighting's going on up top, you see the son with this like demon-looking child. Yeah, you see him a couple of page, uh, page or so before. It's the page before, right? out from under the table. But I, I think I almost glossed over that, so I had to go back a page. I'm like, where did this kid come from? And I went back, and he's like, oh, yeah, there he is. He's like creeping out from under a table. And then and playing it, with his Justice League of China dolls. Yeah, he, he comes, to, comes to the kid, and then, then he's just gone. I'm like, man, that was really weird. Almost David Lynch-esque, the way this creepy little yeah. kid just kind of and appears it, it, you used it for some great layout stuff there's a few times where you know that was one page where you know they have the the, the two kids in the bubble at the bottom and then the the four panels above it like in the the, mm. the, the streaks and then um, the next page as well where you've got you know talia and honor just at the bottom and you know the, the action behind yeah. them i actually i really like the layout it's after she's left and she's left the kid in the car and she goes back to check in talia and the body's gone and clearly you know she's been taken to go put in the pit or whatever um, and I just like that layout. I like how the panels get smaller, and you get that like that big wide shot, the silhouette of her running and back. And that's the smallest one. Yeah. But it's the smallest panel. It's like her world's really small, right? I mean, hell, even the sun setting behind her is like perfectly, you know, around her. You know, it is. Uh, so really nice touches, and even just like the, the her and the shadows in the following page when you know the kids in the back. Yeah, seat. the kids in the light. Yeah, and yeah, that's what we actually. She's back in the dark of the world now. Yeah, I mean, let me actually cut to who this kid was. And he's with this other woman. What, what, what were they called here? Um, they were... It was on the final page. Grave is is the the woman, I think? Yeah, because she's the older one. Yeah, and Cradle. Grave and Cradle. That was yes. it. Cradle and the Grave, yeah. Or Cradle to the Grave, typically. Uh, what was it? So they've got like a, a mysterious benefactor who's uh, like wanting them to go after after Silencer and uh, mentions, well, mentions their father, Han. Huh? Oh yeah, my father's life's work sees fruition. That's what it was. Oh, yes. okay. So this is Gil's kid, uh, I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so they basically like, roid up in the last scene, 
right? I'm not sure exactly what they're doing, but the baby becomes almost like Drax from Guardians, but with like tech on him, like with this this like pipe going across his like chest. It's Mad Max esque, isn't it? Yeah, and then the old woman becomes younger, but really like evil and gothic looking. Um, so yeah, we got some wacky new villains here. I mean, assuming they're new. I mean, if they've popped up before, it by all means fill us in. But new to me as well. So yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. That was because I think the action, the fight is really impressive with Talia, and I had a lot of good moments. I loved the, the choice for her to just to stab her, and obviously at the end, Silencer's like forming this plan. She wants to like, hey, we're going to go on vacation. I bought tickets, and she she claims she won them, but she didn't. And yeah. she's like, oh, we're going to go to this this theme park, Action Land, but that's conveniently near Talia's old grounds, and she wants to like kill Talia and take you know just stop Leviathan completely. That's her plan, uh, but. No, uh, that was a solid issue. It's a good fight. But the, the creepy kid is the part that really stuck out. I was like, Holy, who's just this creepy kid? It comes out of nowhere, doesn't it? Like, yeah. Even, you know, I, you know, just out of the tape, it's like, where's this kid coming from? I think what's table? so effective about it is the idea of introducing a new villain, but meeting the kid first. Like, you know, it's not with Silencer, it's with the kid, where he's, yeah. like, vulnerable, and it's just the kid coming and talking to him. It's, it's a classic horror movie, almost, technique. It is, but yeah. I think that this book's, like, it's been a John Wick book up until now. But this is this was like out of a horror movie. This little moment, so yeah, no, it, it was a nice touch. So yeah, what would you rate it? What would you, what would you give some? Uh, I think it was really good. I'll give it seven point five. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll agree with that. Seven point five. That's 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 right in the money.